Hi, what in today's video, I'm going to take a small part apart and turn them into a buggy fit for the wastelands. And this is an older video uh, from this back in November 2021 uh, for Gasland UK Builder of the Month. The theme was off road vehicles. Um, this was my first build video. For... So, this was my first attempt at preparing myself building, and so there's a lot of mistakes, so you'll just have to bear with me for that. So the first thing I did is line up the axles alongside another car so I could measure the distance between them. Then I could cut some head-shaped styrene to use for the chassis rails. And then also measured the distance between the wheels so I could cut some tube styrene for the axles. So I split these down the middle so I can slot these over the metal axles on the wheels. This allows me to go the chassis to the axles and allows the wheels to still continue spinning. So I got rid of this footage where I actually cut down the parts that I was going to use because of the edge of excess on there that I didn't need. Um, but because again, it was an early video, it wasn't quite in focus, so I just got rid of it. As you can see, I started gluing the pieces together. Here you can see I didn't quite cut enough off the uh, side bits of the roll cage, so I'm just cutting off a bit more. And then glued these to the interior piece. Next I cut and shaped some styrene rod for the buggy's frame. I did record me doing this but I went through several designs and so the previous ones that I did actually record are pretty useless because I changed the design. So I start gluing these pieces to the buggy. Following this I start on making a radiator, so for this I'm going to take some corrugated styrene and just draw out some squares and then cut those squares out and then glue them back to back for the radiator. So next I use some screws for the shocks and suspension, they work really great in this scale. Although I do remember to cover up the head of the screw, otherwise it gives it away that it's just a screw that you've used. Following this, I added a camisole design oil drum for the fuel tank. Here I am adding a few more pieces to the frame, but sadly, again, like I said before, it 
it's not on camera, so you can barely see what I'm doing. Next I added some exhausts. For this I just used a pencil to bevel out the ends. And then glued them in place, again off camera. <laughs> To up the lack of detail underneath I made a skid plate which would be on any off-road vehicle It just protects all the vital components um, when you're going over a rough terrain and if you bottom out the vehicle. I decided to use some C-shaped siren just to cover up the screw heads like I mentioned before. On top of this I glued on these dual machine guns which are from the North Star Military Figures Implements of Carnage Screw which is a good screw for bits of gas lines. Moving on to the front bumper I put another piece of styrene rod and glued this to the front. But for the final piece of the bumper I did this head shaped styrene. Here's the bulb before paint. Now unfortunately because I was running low on time I didn't really film me uh, making the driver or adding these wheel arches. Uh, in fact, <laughs> the entire front end of this thing exploded uh, because it was under a bit of tight pressure so I had to rebuild it so it looks a little different, but that's why. Moving on to the paint, I first did what I usually do is just cut the entire thing in a rust colour. At the time I didn't have any Revell rust so I just mixed up my own out of the browns that I had. Following this I stippled on some Revell metallic silver just for the exposed metal parts. Next I used some Revell Luftwaffe yellow, stippling it onto one of the fenders just to make it look like this car was made out of bits that have been salvaged in the waste. Uh, for the majority of the car I used this Revell light blue because the idea was this vehicle was probably another vehicle that was crashed and then hastily repaired in the wastes out of what was left of the original vehicle. So a lot of the parts of this light blue to kind of indicate that this was a different vehicle at one point but obviously it's been rebuilt. I used Revell fiery red to paint the fuel tank. Next I used Revell light olive to paint the interior. And then use some Revell semi yellow just to paint the padding around the roll cage. And then went back and cleaned up the wheels just painting them Revell matte black. And finally, I painted the rims the same brush colour I painted the whole car before. Again, I was still running out of time here, so I just kind of stopped painting, at least recording me paint, and just finished everything up as quickly as possible so I could get the building for the deadline. 
um, but I'll go back over what I did. So I just hit it with my usual black wash. And then after that, I took some of the sandy yellow and dry brushed it onto the wheels to make it look like it stuck into the tires, like for dirt. So this was a really fun build, and I do plan to do some more scratch build cars, because this car was entirely built out of bits from my bits box. And I did luckily get it done in time for the build, um, which is regrettably just regrettably the video had so many mistakes and was so long that I wasn't too sure and I had other builds going on so I just kind of shelved the video for a while but now it's all done and as usual I hope you enjoyed the video stick around for the glamour shots at the end and I'll see you on the next one